Hey guys, NetherRightDev here, and welcome back to another video. So you guys may not know this, but recently I've been making UGC items to try to get into the UGC program. And recently I've been working on a cloud collection, so here are some of the cloud items I have so far. And today I thought I'd expand on this collection by making some cloud antlers and teaching you guys how to make some too. So we can open up Blender and we can insert a Roblox dummy. And if you don't know how to insert a dummy, all you need to do is go to the avatar tab on Roblox Studio, click Rig Builder and insert, just insert a block rig. Then you're going to open up the dummy and on the humanoid root part, you're gonna set his position to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And now he's in the spawn. If, if you want to, you can move the dummy up just so he's not in the ground. Then you're going to open him up and you can delete the humanoid root part and the humanoid. And then you're going to right click the dummy and click export selection and you'll just and then you'll just name it whatever you want and click save since i already have him saved i'm not going to do that and then from there you can import him to blender so now that we have our dummy we can go ahead and delete the light the cube and the camera because we do not need any of those things and then we're going to do shift and a and we can insert a meta ball and we're going to insert a ball we can scale it down a little bit now if you don't know what meta balls are, they're really really nice for clouds because you can like duplicate it and you see how they just nicely connect, it's like liquid kind of. So it's really really helpful if you're making items like clouds or water or something like that. So we're gonna make it even smaller, something like this size should be good and we can always change it later if we need to. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move it to one of the sides here so now that we have our starting ball we can go ahead and select uh let's do the negative y axis just so we get like a nice flat view and what we're gonna do is we can just go ahead and select it and we're gonna duplicate it with shift and d now you can see we can move it around and we're just gonna put it like on top of it and then we can scale it like that and then we can do it again and just move it a little bit and scale it a little bit and we can just go ahead and keep on doing this until we get a nice antler so you can see it's starting to resemble an antler i'm going to select everything and move it a little bit there we go now i'm going to select the x-axis and I can make it a little bit less two-dimensional by adding something to this side as well. Now you can see we have one nice and poofy cloud-like antler. And I'm just going to go ahead and customize it a little bit. I'm going to make the starting point skinnier by doing S and X and S and Y. I'm just trying to make it a little bit less bulgy. Right, I'm done. And you can tell it looks a lot less round and bumpy. And it actually looks pretty nice now, I think. So once you're done with your first antler, you're going to select all the M balls in the library. And then you're going to right click. You're going to convert it to a mesh. So now all the M balls are converted into a single mesh, which we can use for texturing, which is something we will do later. But before we move on to the next antler, you're going to click on the M ball and you're going to add a modifier. You're going to add the decimate modifier and you're going to click on on subdivide. And right here where it says face count, we're going to try to decrease this. So you want each individual antler to have less than a thousand faces. And to do this, we can just move this number and you can see it simplifies our antlers a little bit. And you can see now we have 861 faces. Now I do not want to go that far with simplifying. So I can just take this down a bit. Once you're happy with the amount of faces, you can go ahead and click this drop down and click apply. Lastly, we can select it, right click and click shade smooth, which should make it look a little bit better. So now we're going to create our second antler. So we can shift A and add in a meta ball again and make it smaller. And we're basically going to repeat the process. 
And this time, I'm going to do it from this angle. And in this antler, I'm going to leave a few little gaps in between because clouds are not perfect and they have gaps in them. So, And again, once you are done, you can work on scaling it down to make it look less bulgy. So once you are happy with your cloud antlers, you're going to select all your emballs, including the other mesh. You're going to select all of them, and then you're going to right click, convert to mesh again. So now you can see we have both of our antlers right here. And if you want to, you can click on them and click r to rotate and then click z for the z axis and just rotate it a little bit just to make it a little bit more natural and again we need to decrease the faces on this antler so we can click on it add modifier we're going to add the decimate modifier we're going to go to unsubdivide yeah this is 5,000 faces you're going to need to subdivide the crap out of this as we will not be able to upload this to roblox with that many faces and it looks like the most i can subdivide is to 4000 so let's go ahead and apply that and then we're going to add the decimate modifier again and this time we're going to go to the pla planar tab and we can just go ahead and increase the angle limit until the face count is under a thousand all right this should be fine i believe the maximum amount of faces that you can have in roblox is 4000 so actually we can decrease this a little bit if you want to i just like to have as little vertices as possible just to be safe so once you're happy you can go ahead and click this drop down and click apply and then we're going to right click and shade smooth all right guys so now that we have our antlers we're actually going to texture them but before we do that we can select both of them in object mode and then click Control and J to make them into one object. So now we're just going to create a texture for the antlers. So you can use any photo editing app. For me, I'm going to open up my browser and go to Pixlr E, which is my favorite free photo editor. So you're going to create a new picture and you're going to set the dimensions to be 256 by 256 and click create i believe this is the size you need for textures i think so we're going to click create and we can just go ahead and select this gradient tool and we're going to create a gradient so i'm going to make like a blue a bluish gradient for my cloud i think something like this would be nice All right this should be fine so once you have a gradient you're just going to click and drag up like this and then release and if you're happy with it you can go ahead and click file save and you can just go ahead and save it and you can go ahead and name it uh whatever you want so i'll name it blue antlers <coughs> so now black so now black so now back in blender we're going to select our antlers and then head on over to the uv editing tab and then we're going to open up our files and we're just going to drag over our texture onto this uh, onto this grid right here. And we can go ahead and close it. So now we can select our antlers. And we're going to head on over to this material tab. And we're going to click new. And if you want to, you can name it. It doesn't really matter. You can name the material if you want to. But you're going to go down to where it says base color. And you're going to click this yellow dot. And you're going to set it to an image texture and then you're going to hit this little drop down here and select our texture image that we just imported All right so now we can go ahead and select everything with a and then we're going to click u and click project from view and you can see now once we select everything the antlers are projected onto our texture file so I'm just going to select this antler and scale it to match the size of the other antler. And then we're going to scale it up to cover up basically the entire image here. So something like this should be alright. And 
we can't see our texture so to be able to see our texture we're gonna hold z and we can go to material preview and now you can see how our antlers look and know the dummy does look pretty weird but i don't know how to fix that and it doesn't really matter just ignore the dummy but you can see our antlers look pretty nice and actually i'm going to make some last minute changes to the antlers to make them come out from the side instead of the top so we can just go to the modeling tab and then select one of our antlers by hovering over it and clicking l and then i'm just going to move it kind of to the side and then i can turn on proportional editing and i'm going to use z and go into wireframe mode so you can see through the antlers and i'm just going to select this middle bit here make this a little bit smaller and i'm just going to drag it outward just to add a little bit of curvature to the antlers i guess and then you can do the same thing to the other side all right i'm done and i think now it looks a little bit more realistic so once you are completely done with everything you're going to go back to the layout tab you're going to select the dummy and go ahead and delete it and then we're going to export it so we can go to file export make sure it's an ovj so we're going to export it as an obj file and then you can go ahead and name it to cloud antlers or whatever you want and click export obj so now we can go to roblox and we're going to turn this into a ugc item now but first we need to actually import the mesh so to do this we can go to the view tab and we're going to open up the asset manager then we can go ahead and go to meshes and click right here where it says import and then you're going to find your file and click apply and then wait for it to import it shouldn't take that long my internet is just really slow today so once you have your antlers you're going to drag them onto the screen and here they are right here as you can see the size saved and it has its texture if it does not have the texture um, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here where it says texture id and you're going to go ahead and add the texture right here in your files which would be right here so if it did not have the texture already you would need to choose the texture from your files so we can go ahead and rename it to just cloud antlers now we're going to make it to a UGC item so we're going to go to the avatar tab and click accessory fitting tool and then we're going to select our antlers and click next then it's going to ask you if you're uploading clothing or accessories you're going to select accessories and set it to a hat accessory and then click next and you can also preview it on multiple roblox avatars if it doesn't look right don't worry because we're going to adjust it later and again my internet is very slow today so nothing is loading and then you're just going to click generate and we can close out of this tab now so now it should be turned into an accessory so in the explorer tab you're going to find the antlers and as you can see it's now an accessory and you can just go ahead and delete the original mesh because we don't need that anymore so now we're going to adjust the accessory if it does not look right so to do this we're going to go to the avatar tab which we're already at and we're going to select the rig builder tab or rig builder thing and we're going to insert a block rig okay so once it loads um you can move it over here and we're going to select our antlers and we're just going to move it into the rig and as you can see uh, the dummy is now wearing the antlers and in order to adjust it we're going to open up the accessory and the handle and we're going to see all these things inside of it the only thing we need to worry about is the hat attachment and you're just going to move the attachment until the accessory looks right and for some reason the attachment has inverted controls so keep that in mind so once your antlers look good you can click off of it and bam we are done so now you can put these antlers on any rig and it should work as you can see it's correctly positioned as well and you can even put it on players in game anyways guys that's it for this video i will not be showing you guys how to upload it to the ugc program one because you're not allowed to and two because i'm not in the program yet that is actually why I'm making this video to help myself get into the program. And if you want to view my progress on my journey, you can check out my profile on the Talent Hub. 
I'll have a link in the description below. But anyways, if this video helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you!